All right, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy, Concise Barber, and we are back with another Concise Review. In this review, we are going to be going over this beautiful machine. Shout out to Andis. It is the Andis Black Label Edition Phase Blade Limited Edition Special Clipper. Yeah, let's get into the unboxing. CTB, you know who it is. So you're just seeing the unboxing and we would not be able to do this video if it was not for Wayne Support Bowman Barber Supply. They are the ones that supplied me these masters. So if you guys have never heard of them, I'm honestly going to say that it's a great barber supply store. Definitely check them out. I do have a discount code. It is concise and just check out everything that they have. I guarantee you that you will not be disappointed. Also, one of the dope things I feel like they have that some barber supply stores don't have is that they have loyalty points and you can earn up and save money and stuff like that so i definitely thought that was like a dope thing that they have so shout out to williams for bowman barber supply for sending the boy concise these masters i have been getting a lot of people asking me about you know doing a review on them so this is everything i have to say about it so the first thing i like talking about is the price the price for these is 299 dollars and 99 cents on and this website however you probably can find this around 269.99 so it's just about 30 dollars cheaper other in other places but on the website on and this is 299 300 it's the black label special edition so i'm gonna say okay and let's just see how i i feel at the end of the video but 300 dollars that's what it is now when it comes to the power and battery life power 6500 rpms rotary motor it's not uncommon for Andis to be that low when it comes to the RPMs. They're not the type of clipper company I've noticed that has clippers above 7,200 RPMs. I'm not sure if we're gonna see that sometime, you know, later in the year or next year. I'm really not sure. I know they got some other stuff coming out, but when it comes to the masters, the masters have always been around like 6,500 to 6,000 RPM. So not much of a difference there. That's what you get with it, right? All right, so when it comes to runtime, runtime is an hour and a half i don't know how i feel about that to be honest i mean honestly do i feel like you can survive off of this this alone in the shop no i'll say that because i feel like it being an hour and a half depending if you have back to backs let's say this is your only clipper it is not going to do you no good i honestly feel like you'll have to have two of these just to be okay but hour and a half run time and charge time i'm not sure but let's just say that it's basically an hour and a half or 60 minutes so when it comes to that category i really don't feel that the price points matches up you know just to be honest when it comes to the black label edition the special edition i honestly feel like they could have surprised us with a little bit more when it came to these two and a half hour run time with an hour and a half charge time i would have took that but anyway now let's talk about the packaging packaging dope box they always have nice clean aesthetic boxes you know what i mean you get the clipper you get the charger you get oil you get a brush and you get this like this can follower that's dope and also you get the og zero guard now I'm not sure if y'all seen a video of me talking about this zero guard. Would I say it's the OG? I mean, I think it resembles the OG very, very well. Is it just like the OG? I did my research on that and it's, it's kind of not, but it is very, very close. It's very close. So this that's just me being OD, OD picky, but you do get a guard with it. And I will have to say, this is something that is nice that Andis, Wall, Oster, like the Clipper companies we know for a while to have more stuff in their packaging especially when it comes to guards blades i mean we're at 300 dollars. i would definitely love a, a, another blade like if they would have had this blade we're going to talk about this blade with the regular fade blade or regular taper blade with this i think that would have been like cool but 
that's what you get with it. That's what's in the package. And we're going to talk about the design. So let's see if the design of it alone, because I honestly would have to say the price point is probably based just off the design alone. But let's talk about it. Black label, blackout edition, a little hints of silver there within the master the and this logo, a little bit of wording in the back, and then the blade that says phase, right? But everything else is basically black. I do like the black coating on this. I will have to say that whatever they coated this with, it does give it a, a a texture that the grip is not bad at all so i do like that i don't know how long this will last because i remember the quarter black label editions i've seen people do some work with them and i just seen all the black come off at the same time so i'm not sure you know i guess it all depends on how you care for it but it's really really up to you but basically it's the same shape same body of the masters but one of the big main things we're going to get right into that because the design to me part is not that strong of like a topic to really talk about other than the fact that it's still a floating lever and it still had those notches there and i will say that the lever is okay but i might have to loosen it up just a little bit more because it is kind of stiff nothing wrong with that it's definitely not going to move on you but it's a little bit too strong for my liking so i might have to loosen loosen that up a little bit. But I do want to get to this very interesting part, which is the blade, the phase blade. Everybody's been talking about this blade. This is and this version of a fusion of a taper blade and a fade blade. This is their version of it. And I will have to say, I do like their version of it. It does cut well. It, it does remind me of other clippers that I have used with this fusion. And I like it. I like the fact that Andis kept their cutting blade. I think this too, this combo is nice. So for real, for real, if it was up to me, if y'all don't care about having the special edition, I mean, I like it. I like having stuff like that. But if not, I would definitely say whenever this blade comes out, definitely grab this blade. You would not be disappointed when it comes to the blade. But this is the blade. It is nice. I like that it's, you know, it's all blacked out. The word phase is kind of like, you know, like zigzag, whatever like that. I think that's kind of cool. I guess with with that i thought i was i don't know like maybe a different design on the blade a little bit that kind of goes with the face that is very picky of me that has nothing to do with the performance i'm just going off of what i see just being honest with y'all but i do like this blade now the thing about this blade i want to talk about is the depth of this blade so they're saying that this blade can go all the way to a four out blade to a oa blade and that is terminology when it comes to detachable blades this is why i honestly feel like you know if you're a new barber learning detachable learning guards, learning the system is very, very healthy for you to understand what's, what does that even mean? Okay, so a four out blade is basically a little bit, let's say if you have a trimmer, it's not zero gap, but it's like a set, like it's just set, like as is factory. That is equivalent to a triple out blade. So a four out blade means that it's it cuts shorter than that. So basically what this is saying is that if you zero gap a trimmer, this is my terminology. Now, this is what I'm believing. If you basically zero gap a trimmer with just a little bit of space, this completely closed, it should be able to take that out, take that line out. So that being said, this should get real, real close. And then all the way up to an OA blade. OA blade is a blade right under the one blade whatever the one blade is in detachables but it going to an oa blade means it gets just under a, a one blade detachable so it's good to understand that terminology it's basically like a regular average clipper adjustable that has that could open up to a one if it's just off like one click or one notch down that's basically equivalent to an oa blade this is why i honestly feel like understanding detachable blades is a necessity because you can look on the box and it says, oh, you know, four out blade to an OA. And you probably don't know what that means, you know. So that's why I'm trying to tell y'all, get some detachables or learn or study them, whatever, to be honest. Just figure out a way how you can understand detachable blades in our system. But anyway, that's the blade. That's kind of unique to me that I can go that low. I'm going to tell y'all and be honest with y'all if that is the case for me, if that I noticed that or not. But it is an interesting blade that I easily can see why people will pick it up. That's just that. Now, let's go straight to the performance. The main reason why I took time with this clipper is because the main problem with this clipper a lot of people have is the sound. And I wanted to see if the sound was going to change from the beginning of when I had it to now and I can say it's been sounding like that 
ever since I had it, it has not changed. It has not revved up or revved down. Some people have some problems with that, but to me, this has been staying consistent. And honestly, the blade didn't get hot on me. It hasn't gotten hot on me. So I'm like, okay, they doing some stuff. And I, and I respect that. Does it go all the way that low to a four out blade? I will let y'all know. I'm gonna probably do a video because I have that blade and we are gonna see a comparison side by side and y'all be the judge. Let, let me know what y'all think. But for me, it did the job, but we'll, we will see. I'll let y'all be the judge of that. But also it still cuts the way how I expect the master to cut. This to me, honestly, it is quality. Quality over everything, you know? So performance wise, I was not surprised that it performed the way that it did, especially with the fusion blade, which is the phase blade, the way how it cuts, take down bulk, fades, all of that. I expect this black label edition to put in some work. I expect this blade to work amazing. I expect this blade not to get hot. I expect that. I do expect just a little bit more runtime and I don't expect the click lever. I like floating lever. So I'm really not mad. At, I'm not mad at this at all. It is a little heavy. It, it does have some weight to it. It's not bad to me. It, it is one of, one of the heaviest clippers out. It is one of them but I have no problems with that. But my observation, as I said, the lever just needs to be loosened up just a little bit for me. Like this is okay, but just a little bit more. But my concise review, is this something that's gonna stay on my station? Man, I don't think I ever questioned if an Andes Clipper was gonna stay on my station, but yeah, it's, it's gonna stay on my station because I have a beautiful setup now with the fat blade and the taper blade, and now I have the phase blade. So. That's my setup when it comes to the Andis Masters. And I'm glad that I was able to add this to the collection. You know, shout out to Wingsport. But um, to me, to me, it's $300, but the blade is definitely worth it. I'm not sure what the blade is going to cost. I'm assuming since the Fat Master blade is around like $43, $45, I'm assuming that this phase blade is gonna probably be right around that or right under like $38.99, I don't know. But we're gonna find out. But to me, this is definitely stand on my station. I like using Masters. I like the OGs. I like how these cut, all of that jazz. You know, just the fact that it's the Black Label Edition makes me even like it even more because I like the color wave. So, that's my concise review, y'all. Let me know what y'all think about this clipper. Is this something you're gonna pick up or not? Yeah. Or we're gonna figure out when this blade comes out. And I definitely think y'all should grab this because this is fire. But I do have something else to talk about. My next concise review coming up is the NV2. I will be talking about this clipper. This is going to be an interesting one, so don't miss the next video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we're going to have something interesting to say about this. Y'all be blessed, and I'll see y'all in the next one. CTB! You know who it is!